The purpose is to have participants which come from both the from different units, namely the scenes of crime unit, police department, coast guard, police defense force, and also from the custom department to so that's for them to learn how to process a crime scene and how to prepare upon arrival at a crime scene, namely mainly to to protect the crime scene when they arrive at it. Okay, uh, now that's one of the criticisms that the police department usually gets, especially when a case is presented in court, that there is not sufficient evidence or that the police did not uh, protect the crime scene properly, so then evidence is contaminated. Does that uh, focus in on this? On this that topic? is one of the main reasons we are having this course. We are having members of the police department who are, are mainly the, the first responders at the crime scene. Mm -hmm. That is the reason we have partic participants from different districts, mm -hmm. different detachments, mm -hmm. so that when they go out there, back to their units, they will be able to better, better off their skills. It really strengthens on with the scenes of crime and also the officers working together to make sure that we get this, we get the scene done properly and at the same time not contaminating anything and making sure that when we package the stuff and send it to the lab that there is no confusion or anything wrong happens along the way. We watch CSI all the time and we pick up a lot from it whether they are true or not but people do grade you or rank you based on what they see on television whether it's real or not. Yes, that does happen. <laughs> so things that other people would probably just look down and you know probably brush away, we would look specifically at that because that may be the key point to our entire investigation.